was actually sleeping when Kendra woke me up and she's like, the car doesn't feel right. And so we pulled over and found this. She's been working enough. hard this morning. No, you got it. She has carried up almost everything in this pile. Are you serious? Yeah. Almost that a girl? I think I carried the massive dirty clothes bag, but... Elise, thank you so much for working so hard. I love it. Give me a big fat hug. Mm. We're doing that last minute prep before we head off on another 17 hour drive. Decided to roll down the window, see if that might help with the death smell. We cleaned, like in the washing machine, uh, Caleb and Laura's car seats, because they were just, they were gross. Are you guys sad to leave each other? Aww. So as we're heading back home, I've just been thinking about all the people who helped us out while we were on the trip. We had so many amazing family and friends that let us stay with them. And that's not an easy thing when we have four little kids. Like, it's a pretty big deal. They're up early and they wake up in the nighttime and they eat a lot of food and people took care of us. And so, I mean, we're just really thankful for all of those who helped us out. We really appreciate it. We had fun. It was so good to see everyone. Cubby, you getting ready for a nap any nap? No, I already did go to sleep. You did, huh? You want to take another nap? Lay your head down. Good job. Lay your head down. We're going to all try to take a nap. Hey, guys, guess what? What? I just got a text from Uncle Michael, and guess what? What? Aunt Melanie is at the hospital getting ready to have their baby. So they're gonna text us when they have their baby girl. Yes. Isn't that exciting? Are they in this state? No, they're in California. So this is my brother and sister-in-law's first baby, and she's in the hospital right now. I'm so excited for her. Mashkadoo, Mashkadoo, Niska, Muska. When you've been in the car, how long have we been in the car now? Seven hours, eight hours? I'm not counting it at all. starting to go a little crazy. So sometimes we forget why it is that we drive through the night, and we are being very painfully reminded why we drive through the night. We're having fun. Okay, so we're halfway there. We stopped to eat some dinner. We're kind of just like stretching our legs out right now, out here. So we finally got all the kids to sleep. We're out driving. And the car starts like shaking crazy and we have a flat tire, guys. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, I mean, this is part of our tire. Like on the inside, it's completely shredded. We'll show you when we get it off. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm so glad that we stopped when we did. That was getting really dangerous. Isaac, are you okay? Kind of. I kind of scared. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. We're just gonna put a new tire on the car, okay? Okay. Oh, man. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> so I've been trying to like muscle the bolts with my arms, but just kicking it down with my foot seems to be working better. I would just like to say again that I'm really glad that I'm not alone on this drive. I would be completely stranded without Jeremy. And his 
expert maneuvers. <laughs> I got all of them done now. <laughs> I've changed flat tires before, but normally I've done it on a little car. This is my first time on a big minivan. Um, so I'm not ashamed to use the owner's manual. Like it actually does a really good job explaining it. I called Kendra's dad of just like, so where should I put the jack? And I just want to make sure I don't do anything really stupid because I know I'm not an expert at this, but I should be able to figure it out. But now we're trying to lower down the spare tire, which is actually like hoisted underneath the car right now. And so there's a bolt that we have to use. What do you think, Pumpkin? You want to be asleep, huh? So you can't drive very far on spare tires, and so we're gonna have to just go to the nearest town and find a hotel. I have funny family memories of being stranded on the side of the road at different times, you know, fixing different things. Sometimes the bad things in life become some really fun memories, so. We'll just try to remember that while we're sitting here. Check out that tire. Holy smokes! I mean, that thing's completely shredded. Oh, Jeremy, we are so lucky. Yeah. So Laura woke up inside the car and Isaac was super big brother. He was able to soothe her back to sleep and anyway, just grateful for him. Since I'm on very important hold flashlight duty. All right, so who has had car trouble on road trips? We wanna hear your stories. Make us feel better about our adventure in the comments below. Sorry, you're not feeling good, buddy. Am I sick? While we were changing the tire, Isaac threw up in the car. He is not Can feeling I good. Can I have some on that off? Yes, buddy, I'm so sorry. So we're out here with Isaac, and he's like still recovering from throwing up, and he's just like, the stars out here look beautiful. Is that what you said? That's you are awesome, such buddy. a sweet boy. So we got the tire changed, now we're cleaning up the throw up out of the car. Kendra's getting a hotel set up. So the stars really are amazing out here. And it's interesting during like my little emergency that I'm going through here to look up and see how much bigger all of life is and how little my little stranded on the side of the road for an hour is in the big picture of things. We made it about 50 yards of driving. Isaac threw up again and Lisi just threw up a little bit. So we're gonna take care of that. Well, we are somewhere in Nebraska at a roadway inn for the night, and I don't think I've ever in my life been so grateful to see a hotel and to finally be here. So now we just have to get the kids settled and pray there's no more vomit tonight and figure out the whole tire thing in the morning. So still lots ahead of us, but grateful to be here instead of on the side of the road. And it all comes tumbling down. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was so sweet of you, Lucy. See, that's a hotel. It has a bathroom attached to it. We've uh, talked about stopping at a hotel and we've been afraid to try it ever, so we're gonna see how this goes. Elise, what's up here? A waterfall! 